What diamine ink does Brian suggest or like and why? You know, now that I reread the question, <laughs> you just asked me which ones do I recommend and why. I swear, I've read that question like eight times so far, and I read it as what are Brian's top five favorite diamond inks. I think I just, I see the world in listicle form. Maybe too much BuzzFeed in my millennial brain. But anyway, uh, well, I, it's good because I, I kind of interpreted it as a top five question, but I totally came up with more than five. So now I don't have to feel so guilty about that. Anyway, I'll talk about some of my favorites. Uh, this is really tough because there are so many good dye mine ink colors. Uh, I have, full disclaimer, I have not used every single one myself, but I've seen the swabs of all of them. And, and you know, so this is going to be a completely subjective, not objective in any form. Um, just a personal list of ones that I find most appealing for the most random of reasons. Uh, but that's what you asked for. So uh, there you go. There are a lot of good ones, actually, if you, you know, you can take my opinion for what it is. But actually, if you go, you can, you can go and click on bottle ink in the top nav on our site. And then you can use the search filter on the left, on the left side. I don't, I think it's going to, I think this is the left side for you looking at me. This is my right side. It's weird. <laughs> on the left side on the page. Um, you can you can actually sort by by brand, so you can uh, or you can you, there's other ways you can navigate and you can narrow down just by dye mine bottled ink, um, and then there's different sizes and some of them overlap. But if you just sort by 30 milliliter, which is the most uh, the, mo the the big the most extensive of the dye mine collection we have, and then 50 mil because that's where all of the um, the shimmering ink are 50 mil. So sort 30 and 50 mil together, and you'll come up with like 107 different bottles or something like that. Um, and uh, and then you can just, you can sort it, I think it defaults actually to popularity, but you can sort it by price or A to Z or whatever. But if you sort by popularity, then you basically you're hacking our site and you're seeing what are the most popular ink colors, because it is dynamic. It, on our old version of our site, it was not dynamic, but now it's dynamic. So based on um, what you all are actually buying and looking at on our site, you can see what are the most popular dye mining colors that we have. So there you go. Nice little life hack for you. Um, you can see those popularity ones based on kind of the general pen community, those who are shopping on our site at least, what they find popular. So you can get the general opinion there, but I'll give you my totally subjective opinion. Um, what's got to be on my list is dye mine marine. Love, love, love that color. Great shading, really nice turquoise color. Perfect blend of like a blue and green color. I do like turquoise a lot. It's the color of my water bottle. And marine is kind of this general shade. Of course, blue, like my wall, blue, blue and purple. I have blue a lot in my life in various forms. But really just like, I mean, this is my phone case. It's blue. Like this shade of like this cerulean blue, that is my, that is just like, there's nothing better to me. Um, but anyway. There's a lot of blue. I didn't just choose like 17 blues, uh, but Dye Mine Marine is just a classic. I've loved it ever since I first inked it up and I really have never fallen out of love with it, which is why it has to stay up there on my list. This is before shimmering inks were around. Dye Mine and it's more original, like only 80 version form. <laughs> um, or I think maybe it was 60 when we first started with Dye Mine. Anyway, we've carried Dye Mine for eight or not, eight or nine years, eight and a half years or something like that. Anyway, eight and a half? It's been a while. Uh, but anyway, so uh, there you go. Uh, so Marine is great. Red Dragon is a favorite of mine as well. That one goes a little ways back. Um, Oxblood, I will give a full disclaimer. It's a little bit darker, and it is a more popular color, generally speaking. But the two are kind of close. I actually really like Red Dragon more, personally. But that's a totally personal thing. Oxblood is great. I love it. It's a good ink. Um, but I just like the slightly brighter, more vibrant, more of a true kind of punchy red as opposed to like a darker red, brown, kind of that dried blood looking ox blood color, which is really kind of what it looks like. Um, give an honorable mention to Syrah, which is really more of a burgundy. It's kind of like if ox blood turned burgundy, it would be Syrah. Um, so also a really great color. I do love that one, but of that kind of red genre, red dragon really has never been topped for me. Matador is close, but it's really similar to the Red Dragon. Red Dragon is just like, I love it. Uh, Dye Mine, Majestic Blue and Blue Velvet. I lumped them together because I really now flip flop between the two. Um, Majestic Blue has is like an OG dark blue, OG meaning like old guard. I've always loved that, again, from the first time I inked it up. It's a deep saturated blue with a heavy red sheen, which, 
that ink was around when there were not a lot of heavy sheening inks. Now there are more and there are more ink companies that are kind of leaning towards that as people are reacting to it. Um, but it, again, is kind of an, an OG sheener. Um, the, o, the oest of G's that I can think of uh, would be um, Parker Penman Sapphire. So if you know that ink at all, that's from like the 90s. It's very vintage at this point. It's crazy expensive to buy it, you know, if you can find any. Um, but very comparable to that deep blue heavy red sheen. Blue velvet is really similar to that. Um, it's not a, you know, it's a little more expensive and it's in that like triangle shaped bottle, which is cool, but you know, maybe slightly less practical. Um, but blue velvet, it's a little more vibrant. So I really debate because I love, you know, Majestic Blue has been one of my favorites for such a long time. Blue Velvet, I bottles of both and I use them interchangeably. Um, Blue Velvet's a little more vibrant, which I also really like because it's kind of truer to the Cerulean that I, that I love so much. Also a heavy red sheener. Uh, so it's kind of a toss up, but I'll mention both of those. Um, and then let's see here, what else? I, I honest, I love the Shimmer Tastic ink uh, that Diamine has put out. They put out so many colors. There's so many good ones, I kind of just like didn't even know which one to pick. And as I was really thinking about it, I was like, you know, I've, I've inked up a lot of them and use them periodically, but I, I just the way that I work, I really don't use a shimmering ink for like an extended regular basis. Uh, it's just not in my, not in my rotation uh, personally. So while I enjoy them, you know, it's not like among my top favorites of the thing other than just like my initial impression of it wow i really like it or i like to see it but i'm not i'm not using any of them all that much on a regular basis but i did want to put one uh on here that i really kind of like because i think it's it's more slightly more unique on the diamond golden sands so in general i don't love yellow ink and i don't use golden sands all that much to be completely honest with you but it's really kind of the closest you can get to like a true gold sparkly kind of gold ink uh, in the fountain pen world that I'm aware of. Um, so for that reason, I like it. And the gold sheen uh, shimmer comes out really heavily. And it's really just kind of a cool, unique ink. So that one, I really like a lot. There's a lot of like blues and turquoises with various uh, sparkly bits in it that I also enjoy, but Golden Sands, um, I kind of arbitrarily just picked that as my favorite at the moment. Um, and then another one that's kind of an oddball for me, Diamond Pumpkin. This ink is, you know, it's a little bit of a higher maintenance ink because it does, you know, some orange inks, and this is one of them, uh, kind of crusts up a little bit on the nib when it dries out. It'll nib creep a bit, and then it'll kind of dry and leave like this crusty, orangey, almost kind of powdery kind of thing. It looks, it looks crazy. It looks like something that's growing out of a, a cave, like a stalagmite. But um, the truth is, it's, it's just like whatever dye component in there, that orange dye component, it seems. Um, there's several different colors. Diamond Ancient Copper does this too. Um, uh, Monte Verde Fire Opal does this. Uh, actually, um, uh, the uh, Urban uh, 1670 Rouge Hematite also does the same thing. Something in that like red or orange dye component, you get that kind of crusty effect that happens on it. You can honestly just wipe it off with a, a tissue or a paper towel. Um, or you can just clean it, you know, get it wet and it'll just like completely rinse off. It doesn't do any harm. It just looks kind of crazy if you haven't used the pen for a couple of weeks and it's like this like crusty like rock formation growing on your nib. You're like, bah, what is this? And then you just wipe it off and you write with it and you're like, oh, it's fine. Um, so anyway, Diamond Pumpkin will do that, but it's such a great orange. It's like, it's not too dark. It's not too light. It's vibrant, but not like punch you in the face, bright orange, like it doesn't feel like I'm writing with a highlighter. It's really that, it really looks like the color of like a nice hearty, you know, harvest pumpkin fall. You know, it just really reminds me of that. So I do kind of like that. So anyway, those are some of my top colors. I'll give an honorable mention to Diamond Ancient Copper. It's a super popular color. I, I don't use brown inks all that often, but it's kind of this brownish, copperish, orangish kind of color. It looks really cool. Um, and it's very popular. So I have to mention that one, but I just, it's, it's, uh, I don't use it, I don't use it all that often, but it is really cool. So anyway, those are some really good diamond inks. I'm sure you have opinions. Please share them um, about those. But those are some of the ones that I just kind of end up gravitating to over and over again is those. Mm -hmm.